Hello everybody, welcome to my playthrough of Outlast Whistleblower. I haven't actually played the original Outlast game and completed it, but I haven't I don't know anything about Whistleblower except like the first ten seconds that I watched in a video. So apparently there are some it's a lot worse than the original game and there are some graphic even more graphic scenes, so everyone was talking about a certain scene that they can't wait to see reactions of from a YouTuber I watch, a YouTube channel I watch. So, um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but apparently it's something about a groom. I can't wait to see. Yeah, let's start the game. But I'm gonna be normal because I'm a pussy, alright? to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help you. What? Uh -oh. Andrew, you getting these alerts? Kind of busy What? Here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral assumption. What do we hope? They're not happy about it? Please go away. Shit. Stop licking me. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Are you... Okay. Great. You don't know me how to make this quick, they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, if those guys... I can't read it. I'll read it in a minute. He's doing the nervous thing I do. I'm actually doing it right now. <laughs> Terrible things happening there, don't understand it, don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors told me about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something they had, that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People were being hurt and Murkoff is making money, it needs to be exposed. So this is, he's talking to the protagonist of the original game. Um, I, that's, I, I believe that's why it's called Whistleblower, because this is the guy that actually told Miles about the, uh, the psychiatric asylum place. So it's be fun. I love how it just says coffee on it. <laughs> Mark. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent with the engine. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software. Alright, calm down. I'm going. Oh boy, lag. Why weren't you answering the page? I'll tell them you're incoming. This look this is um this is looks like the setting from the end of the original game. I don't know if this is the same place, but it looks very similar. I am. Um, I'll probably make sure to put spoilers in the description just in case someone Christ, watches this. Ah. They're cutting it close. Next patient is coming in arterial spin still dark. We need you at the front terminal. Oh uh, yeah, this is definitely the, the same place. Been out of his cell. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Park. Finally. Where have you been? 
No sneakers. Okay, so apparently there's a glitch that was never fixed or an issue where uh, it, the screen goes black when you alt tab and it's in the DLC specifically it's it's more occurring so uh, I've replayed this like six times <laughs> anyway Park. final where have you been functional imaging and faces and talking to the ASL we got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head I can call into the chamber ask them to delay no I don't need another performance evaluation Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it right Mr. Park Mr. Park? Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Go away, face licker. Quickly, Mr. Park. It will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Our serial spin labeling is back online. Good. Positioning imaging. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Rude. You need to exit the room, sir. Okay, gee. They didn't give me a chance. Oh boy. Down! How do I can see him? Why didn't I lock my computer? Mr. Whalen Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop onion router and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid. In fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and, uh... Did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That is brave indeed, Wayland. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light. Oh, oh God. Oh, that's not light. That was definitely not light. Oh, are you gonna place him or was that just a false protagonist? They're the same scream sounds from the, uh, the main game. So what 
Rider. Away from me, sir. Sir. Child above. Just do it. This looks lovely. God, naked people. I saw that guy. Ah! Come to join our therapy session. Here, take the blade. Keep around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long, and you might do something you regret. You're one of those. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Now, get the f*** out of here before I change my mind. Jesus Fuck. Christ, mate. No. Hold that here. Eh. Eh. Ben. Ben. No, please. I don't want any trouble, friend. Just stay there. Thank you. Ugh. I suppose it was lucky that I got thrown in this dream cell otherwise I'd be in I don't I'd have ended up like everyone else here. <clears throat> You're not security. 
I was. I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body, I sent. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. Don't turn out to be an evil man. Oh. No, no! Okay. I don't like that there's lockers there. Buy them. Oh no. There's definitely something over there, but I don't want to go before I've checked the whole area out. Oh, exactly. This is why you check the whole area. And there. Uh, I want to see what's this way. Doesn't seem like there's anything. No. I don't know why it's so laggy. <coughs> don't want to go in there, I'll probably be electrocuted to death. I'm like one of those people who likes to check everything. Yeah, that's definitely the way through. Oh, flag. Cannibalism. Or is this the way through? I have no clue, I'm confused. Why did I go last time? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, through here. Actually, I don't think- I think this is just another room that I didn't go in. Okay, so there's a place to hide there, that's not to know. Um, yeah, this is the way. fun with that mate. Some lockers there. That sounds like someone. Is 
which means I need to get out of here quickly. the handcuffs. <coughs> oh. Hmm. I figured it was worth a shot. <coughs> no. Okay, I just know that's an enemy. I feel it in my bones. Yeah, he's the cannibal guy from earlier. You gotta run! You gotta run, friend! Feed me. This isn't gonna go well if you don't hurry up. I have no clue where I'm supposed to go. I'm just gonna guess. Ah yes, this, this is the way to go. I'm the luckiest person alive. Unless he comes through that door. In which case, I'm screwed. No. Oh. <clears throat> um, please keep away from me. Please keep away from me. Please keep away from me. You can tell me a secret from the other side of the room. Okay, I, I am your friend. Tell me the secret then. Stop repeating lines. Oh god. Please protect me from this horrible man who wants to kill me. No, I'm not here. I don't exist. I'm not a person. Don't kill me. Ha! Screw you, bitch. Oh no. Let's hope he doesn't come back. I guess he found me. Stay there. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna stay here. Oh. Well, um... Okay guys, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, remember to leave a like if you like this video and favourite it uh, if you want to. I don't know. And uh, subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this or the next episode. Alright. See you guys.